Hey everyone, welcome back. In this ISTKB foundation exam question and answer video, I'm going to cover another five important exam questions with detailed explanation. So let's get started and I'll choose a different color for these ones. Okay. So the first question of this particular video says, which of the following best explains a benefit of independence of testing, right? So the syllabus has the topic of independent testing. Now we have to go through these options and we have to choose the best explanation or best value add of having independence or independent testing okay so let's go one by one the use of an independent test team allows project management to assign responsibility for the quality of final deliverable to the test team allows okay independent testing allows project management to assign responsibility for the quality of final deliverable to the test team no that's quality is everyone's responsibility in the team right so that's incorrect okay that's incorrect statement to make now if we go to the next one if a test team external to the organization can be afforded then there are distinct benefits in terms of this external team not being so easily swayed by delivery concerns of project management and the need to meet strict delivery deadlines okay that's absolutely baseless right I mean doesn't matter if the team is external this is not the criteria right I mean the team the project management and the need to meet strict delivery delivery uh, deadlines will still be there if that is applicable for whole team then that will be even applicable for the independent test team that is also incorrect moving to the next option an independent test team can work separately from developers need not be distracted with project requirement changes and can restrict communication Okay, that's absolutely baseless with the developers. If the testing team is restricting communication with developers, obviously they, they are setting up themselves for failure. So contradictory. Okay, that's also incorrect. That means only we are left with only one option, which is when specifications contain ambiguities and inconsistencies, assumptions are made on their interpretation and an independent tester can be useful in questioning those assumptions and the interpretation interpretation made by the developer absolutely correct whenever the specification requirement contains any ambiguities inconsistencies which developers say for example did not went through and queried and asked questions from the business stakeholders and clarified and did some assumption assumed something and coded according to those assumptions then in those sort of scenarios independent tester or independent test team is more useful in questioning those assumptions with the developer and then ensuring that whatever the assumptions are made are actually correct or not okay so d is the correct option for this particular question all three above are incorrect and you can when you are reading you can straight away see some contradictory statements within there within these options and you can straight away keep crossing those so you arrive to the correct option and we had just had one option to select from this particular question Mo moving on to the next one you are working as a tester in the team that follows v model okay which of the following activities can be performed in the initial phases of sdlc so in the v model what all can be which activities can be performed in the initial phases of sdlc can you do dynamic test execution absolutely not you are you are in the initial phases of sdlc okay then you have the static testing okay that looks correct so let's mark it until we go all the options we won't say 100 percent you know or these are the options right so we have to select two options here i know this is the correct option static testing is what can be done okay that's why i have not crossed it test planning all right let's keep it acceptance test execution that's the last bit right so that's basically not correct you can straight away cross it out maintenance testing again not in the initial phases so these are acceptance testing and maintenance testing are in the later phases not in the initial phases dynamic test execution is also later phases when you have the code and the deployment available so in the initial phase of SDLC testers can do static testing and they can do test planning okay so B and C are the correct option for this particular question okay so we had to select two options and we have arrived at 
two options for second question in this particular video. Now moving to the third question, which of the following are advantages of DevOps? Okay, so DevOps advantages. Now as part of the this particular keyword DevOps, what, what exactly it means? So Dev is development and Ops is op operations. Okay, so when we say DevOps, it's more of a mindset change in the organization wherein development and operations work closely rather than throwing developers throwing their code to the operations and the operations maintaining everything from the operational perspective in the production and if some issue comes back they are again throwing back the defects to the developer so devops is more of more of a mindset change and as part of this particular version 4 of istqb we have the devops section as well so we are we want to understand what are the advantages of having devops okay so let's go through these options and we'll come up with we'll remove or eliminate which are absolutely incorrect answers and we'll keep the ones that we have, we know are the correct ones okay so faster product release and faster time to market that's absolutely correct this is the correct option and we have to choose one option right so here you will see a b c d we have to choose one option so out of these we have there will be multiple answers right so now we know that this is absolutely correct answer faster product release and faster time to market is biggest advantage or one of the advantage of devops so we know this is correct and now out of these four options you can easily see that we only have one in a and c so you can straight away cross b and d why because i know that and and this could be applicable for you as well in the exam you if you are 100 percent sure that this is the correct option you are now left with only two options a and c to work with okay now let's go to the second option increases the need for repetitive manual testing okay that's not correct but let's keep it constant availability of executable software then we go to the fourth one reduction in the number of regression tests associated with core code refactoring absolutely baseless okay this is baseless there is a devops doesn't ensure reduction number of regression test cases associated with code refactoring refactoring that is not what devops does fifth one is setting up test automation framework is inexpensive since everything is automated no that's also incorrect okay so we have eliminated these two options now let's see if we have a okay so we have uh we were left with a and c and now we know fourth we have already eliminated so that means this option has four okay so this is also gone so we are only left with c which is the correct answer wherein one and three are advantages okay so this is also advantage constant availability of executable software that's the advantage and increases the need of repetitive manual testing that's not what devo do okay so this is basically i'm showing you how you can apply elimination strategy by reading these options rather than going through and trying to figure out everything all at once okay first try to figure out the one that you are absolutely 100 percent sure first one i was sure okay then i know this is these two are absolutely incorrect and as soon as i mark these three uh, these two as incorrect first one is correct i arrive to a concluded answer which is c which is one and three are advantages and if you read now faster product releases and faster time to market yes that's the advantage of devops then constant availability of executable software that's also the advantage of devops why because with the devops pipeline the executable software is automatically deployed and the availability availability of the uh, executable software can be maintained because there are automated pipelines pipelines to deploy the code okay so c is the correct option for this particular question okay and we just have to select one option moving to the next question you work as a tester in a product on a mobile application for food ordering for one of your clients the client sent you a list of requirements one of them with high priority says the order must be processed in less than 10 seconds in 95 percent of the cases okay now here the processing of the order the time is asked okay you created a set of test cases in which a number of random orders were made okay so you have the set of test cases so for example 100 random order will be created the processing time measured and the test results were checked against the requirement what 
test type did you perform okay now here if you see when we say functional and non-functional if you have gone through the videos already you will clearly understand that we are not doing the functional aspect of the testing in this particular case okay this is more of performance the response time you know 10 seconds in 95 percent of the cases so straight away by reading this you can if you know the difference between functional and non-functional you have gone through my videos then you will know that yes we are not doing functional a is wrong answer we just have to select one we are doing what we are doing non-functional testing because the measure the measure the system's performance because it measures system performance and we are measuring the system performance that 95 percent of the cases the orders must be processed in less than 10 seconds should not go more than 10 seconds it is not functional so C is again crossed out it is not structural because here you will see the structural because we need to know the internal structure of program to measure the order processing time no we are not doing any structural uh, testing in this particular case functional was anyways out so the only option is non-functional okay because we are doing systems performance you are you are looking at if there are thousand orders 95 percent of those orders out of those thousand get processed in less than 10 seconds okay so that's a non-functional testing all right Moving to the next one, which is the last question of this particular video. Your organization's test strategy suggests that once a system is going to be retired, data migration shall be tested. Okay. So once the system is going to be retired, data migration shall be tested. As part of what test type is this testing most likely to be performed? Okay. So most likely what type of testing, uh, what test type this testing will be performed? All right. So here uh, there are four options. Integration no right so let's go other way around integration no so you what you are doing is as part of the test strategy once the system is going to be retired data migration shall be tested so once the legacy system is retired the data will be migrated to new system then the system the data migration shall be tested so integration no component no you are not developing something as part of this migration all right so no new components are there so component is not there okay regression and maintenance okay so if we talk about regression you are not you what you are doing here is a uh, post retirement data migration you are testing right so you are actually doing the maintenance and not the regression so regression is also out you are doing the maintenance testing so a is the correct answer because the system is being retired new system or data migrate the data will be migrated so you are doing more of a maintenance and not any other testing because there is not a new development or the fixes in the code base or as such okay so the maintenance the correct answer is a which is maintenance maintenance testing all right so that's the last question of this particular video in the next video of istqb foundation exam question and answer i'll cover another five questions with detailed explanations so that's all thank you see you in the next one